Hey guys, sorry about that long-winded intro, but I wanted to show you the uh, test rig that I put together for this video. I'm in the process of putting together my Taro 680 hexacopter, and it came with these, uh, these nice little rigid motor mounts. Um, you know, just standard mounts, um, aluminum clamps, carbon fiber motor plate, um, hard plastic washers. And uh, anyway, I, I know there's a lot of different mounts out there, so I thought I'd shop around and see what the alternatives were. And I came across this. Um, it's kind of spendy, so I only bought one to do a comparison. I think it's a new mount uh, from Taro, and they are advertising it as anti-vibration, like vibration damping. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. So I decided to do a, a comparison between the two using a, a vibrometer app for an iPad. And uh, to do that, um, I used part of the, uh, the uh, Taro 680 frame uh, as the test jig uh, together with a, a brand new Sunny Sky motor. It's a V3508 uh, 580KV. Um, I balanced it and uh, I ran out of black vinyl tape, so yeah, white. And I coupled that with a perfectly balanced um, prop from APC. It's a 14 by 5.5. Uh, the blades and the hub are perfectly balanced. And then to uh, control everything, uh, I decided to use a servo tester because it's consistent. Uh, I just hit the button, it goes to neutral, so that's 50% throttle, and uh, I don't have to worry about uh, using a, uh, an RC transmitter or anything, and I know that I can get consistent runs. So what I, I decided to do was uh, several runs each, um, 20 seconds long, um, hit the button, let everything settle out for a few seconds, and then hit the iPad and let it record 20 seconds worth of data. So uh, let's see what happens. Wow, well, that was illuminating. A simple rigid mount with a well-balanced motor and prop outperformed the vibration damping mount by a wide margin. Uh, my friend Brett confirmed this when he fitted a set of these to his Taro 650 quadcopter. Um, according to him, the soft mounts were actually vibration inducing, which showed up as jello in his videos, so that's seriously disappointing. But all this data collection got me wondering how much does a propeller shape and material contribute to vibration? Now, I really like the APC props. Um, they're durable, they're consistent, and they're inexpensive. And I wanna know how they stack up when compared head to head with the similarly sized carbon fiber props I happen to have on hand. So just to reiterate, I'm gonna use the same test rig uh, with the same motor and rigid mount, and all four props and their hubs have been perfectly balanced. So let's see what happens this time.
So there you have it. Among the carbon fiber props I tested, the Hobby King with its radical blade shape offers the best vibration performance. Uh, what I found surprising was the APC prop produced the least amount of vibration overall, even when compared head to head against carbon fiber. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, composite props, they're much more durable than carbon fiber, but that strength comes uh, with a weight penalty. They have more mass than carbon fiber, which means they may not feel as responsive to quick stick inputs as the lighter props. Uh, and that could make them less than ideal for high performance flying. But if you're looking for stability, durability, and low vibration, then I'd definitely give them a try. Uh, something to keep in mind with regard to these results is that this prop isn't a knockoff or APC-like. Uh, it's a genuine APC product purchased directly from APC. Uh, the other thing worth mentioning is that these tests covered uh, just a small cross-section of brands and styles and materials uh, and didn't measure parameters like efficiency, battery life, noise, etc. Um, that said, in my opinion, the, uh, the APC and Hobby King props I tested probably offer the best bang for the buck in this price range. And for those who are interested, uh, I've provided links in the description to the raw data I collected. Uh, as well as the, uh, the iPhone apps I used for the tests. Um, that's it. Uh, until next time, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.